so it's lunchtime and most of us eat at lunchtime but not mark mm. come on mark we've got to go back to work mm. you've got lots of painting to do he can't handle it see look at him this is what hard work does to you so it's another good morning from kennick stone campsite oh good morning hello how are we doing it's not too bad a bit tired <laughs> that's nothing new is it and what are you eating bacon and sausage roll Oh, and how was it, seeing as I cooked it? Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> Stop being so polite, Mark. <laughs> Have you finished rubbing your eyes? Yes. Mark can't get used to the fact that he has to get up before lunchtime. It's I a know. Bit, it's a bit of a chore for you, isn't it? It's a bit of a chore. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Here I am. I've uh, just got myself dressed because I thought that would probably be a better look than in my nighty. Uh, we're all we're all warmed up here because it is a bit chilly a bit today. Nippy today. The weather is getting a little bit colder. It's not been too bad. Yesterday we had our hats on, um, and uh, it was a bit. My feet were frozen, so we've doubled up today because I believe it's getting a little bit colder. What are we doing? I hear you ask. Well, um, this is our fifth day back at work. Oh, it hurts. It does. <laughs> Fifth day. But what, yes, you know what? You can't have one good thing without working towards it. And I can't think of a better job to do it than this, can you? Absolutely. We have worked in offices before. We've uh, tottered around offices. We've sat in posh chairs, drank coffee till it comes out of our ears. Well, I don't even like coffee, but you no. know what I mean. If somebody had said to us, well, this time in eight years, you'll be doing this, painting toilets, jet washing paths, creosoting fences, I would have said, on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's the best job I've ever had. Yeah. Obviously, Mark, he's a man. That's what he does, isn't it? Can you paint him? <laughs> I tell you what, it is. I cannot tell you how wonderful this life is. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to, as I've said before. Um, we've had our moments, not here, I might add, but previous jobs, our first position down in Devon, where we thought, what have we gone and done? What have we done? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was in a dog field, in a ditch, pouring with rain, clearing leaves up all day. And I was like, oh, no way. This is mad. You had a paddy once, didn't you? Did, yeah, yeah. What was it? In the game through, vacuum up at 7am. 7am he threw the hoover down and went what am i doing this for but it soon passes you just have to get everything you've learned before go in with fresh eyes and the main goal is six months off to do what you like and to do it before you retire yes well you still can because who knows people just you just don't know what's going to happen do you in the future so you're best to do it now if you can so we're going to show, I don't know what this vlog's going to be about, about, I've absolutely no idea, but we're going to just show you what we have been doing. You know, we don't just stand in reception all day answering the phone, eating all the chocolate from the shelf and booking people in and having a laugh. Oh no, there's no, more to it than that. There's the preparation. Um, we're going to try and show you a little bit of what we might even be able to get our new recruits to say hello. We'll see. They might do, they might not. But we'll show you what we've done anyway, and uh, are you coming? Oh, another word of advice. We've just booked the EasyJet flight for Lanzarote in December. £88 return. Came out yesterday. Um, wasn't going to book them. Some of the flights I'm not booking, they're too expensive, particularly the Tenerife one. But, oh, and the Cyprus one coming home is just ridiculous. So if that yeah. doesn't drop, we won't be going, because I'm not paying double for November to no. go to Cyprus. So... Yes, Lanzarote is booked 2nd of December to the 24th of December. £88 return each, EasyJet from Bristol. Well chuffed with that. Well done. And we had money left over from our holiday. Yes, well, you can do it. It is yeah, possible. Yeah, we have money over. So we've used it for that. And despite the amount of um, beer that Mark's drank, we did have money left over. Yes. Anyway, enough waffling. It must be nearly nine. Let's go. So it's almost nine o'clock. It is almost time to go to work. Mark's brushing his teeth after having five minutes doze. And here we go, a bit of a grey morning. There is a bit of blue sky. It's Friday, the 22nd of March. There's the toilet block. Now our job, uh, myself, Mark, Kes and Andy, we have to prepare that ready. Uh, lots and lots of work to do. Very, very busy. There she is. Good old Swifty. She's very old now, but my God, does she do the job. 
we never thought in a million years when we bought her that she would we'd end up doing this and she's still going strong she's getting a few battle scars now um but this is the best thing we ever bought absolutely the best thing i'll give you a tour of that we have done it many times before but we will do another tour of that as well there she is may possibly be putting up an awning but we're not quite sure yet because the weather here in Gower sometimes the winds because it comes over from the coast are pretty bad and we don't really want to ruin the awning do we where are you Marcus <laughs> so you can probably see how wet the site is just over that hill is going over to Clangeneth over the cattle grid and you see that wonderful view if you've been here you'll know exactly what I mean goes down to the village and down onto Hill End just over there um, and that is where that famous beach is Clangeneth Beach going to the left across to Rossilli and the Worm's Head so not far at all from the beaches we've got beaches every side of us Whitford over there we've got Clangeneth and then you go round the Gower just over there there we are oh here they come here are the new recruits Let's see if they'll uh, say hello, shall we? Where are we? Very well. What, what are we thinking? We're five days in. Honestly, because this is an honest vlog. It's very wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope it stops raining. So how are you feeling about going... What, what are you feeling? Tell us what you're feeling so uh, far. Tired. Tired. That's a good one. Backache, shoulder ache. But what about the job and the Kennicks oh, and people? Lovely. Beautiful. So far, so good. So far, so good. You see, it's the wits and wheat that'll kill you. <laughs> I can't wait. Let's go. So we are going to, as I've said, we're painting this. We're getting it all ready and prepared. You're giving us, you're giving us a hand because we we just need a hand, you see, because having gone round the Canaries all winter, we're a little bit tired, aren't we? A bit tired, yeah. Hello, Mark. Hello. Have you woken up now? No. <laughs> He's just said, what time is it? I said, 10 to 9. Well, I'll have a little sleep then. <laughs> so this is the glamorous side of campsite wardening. And Andy is practising for going in the kitchen by imagining he's making batter. <laughs> You've done a good job in here, haven't you, Mark? Mm. Mark does enjoy painting. Don't mind that. I can't say I've done anything but paint my nails in the past, but I, I'm learning. Yeah, you have painted a toilet block before. Yes, I know, but... Um, I have never... paint everywhere. Yes, well, you didn't tell me it didn't come off the floor. I thought I could just wipe it off. <laughs> well, we're just going to the chippy. Yay! Yay! Just finished another day at work, uh, painting. We've been on our own today because Kez and Andy have been off today. We are coming to Pen Cloud and there is a chip shop just on the corner here. You've got Gigi's just opposite and this is a fab little car park here where you can sit and have your chips overlooking the estuary. Lots of seagulls about so you do have to be careful when you're eating your chips because they like to share with you. There we are, the Roma Fish Bar just over there. Of course, when Kennexton Cafe is open, we won't need to come here. Look at this. Lovely little spot to come on your way down to Gow on a Friday night after work. Pop in for fish and chips. Look at that. Oh, that's the first time it's ever been in. Look at that. See, you're such lucky people. We're showing you all the beautiful sights. And remember, this is what, two hours from Bristol? Yeah. So why sit on the M5 when you've got this in other direction? Seven months to go, ladies and gentlemen, till holiday. Cyprus. <laughs> Hopefully, if the return flight drops, we will be going to Cyprus. We need all your tips and hints if you go to Cyprus quite regularly. Do let us know what we should do, what we shouldn't do. We are hoping to stay in Paphos. That's where we've booked. What do you think about that? Any good? I have been, but I can't remember. You've never been, have Never you? been. Look at us. We've got paint on our face, which means we've sort of done a little bit of work. We've done some work. Oh, it looks like we have. Anyway, mm. Chish and Fips? Yeah. Let's go. So is there anything better than fish and chips? Well, oh, fish and chips. With curry sauce at the seaside. Look at that. Are you enjoying that, Mark? Mm. Do you like a nice battered sausage? Don't you? You've missed your battered sausages when we were in Lanzarote. So then, we are going to do the next vlog we're going to do is we're going to give you a little show around of our caravan. Now, we've done it many times before, mm. but it's getting a bit older now. 
is. Things are starting to fall off. A bit like us, really, isn't it? Mm. So, if there's anything else you want to know about, anything about campsite wardening, anything about our lifestyle, Lanzarote, Canaries, Tenerife, when are we going, what are our plans, then just pop a comment down below and we will answer them. Uh, that's it then from us. We are going to shoot off now to Little, and I'm sure you don't want to come round Little and Gore Simon. Wow. Um, are we going to Tesco as well at Forest Fach? Did I get that right? Fach. Yeah. Uh, to get some new duvet and pillows. So we'll catch you again. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic time, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.